So a few months back when I was watching Godzilla Minus One at one of the movie theaters, a trailer for the new Empire started playing. And then I just realized how crazy it is to see a trailer for a Godzilla movie while watching a Godzilla movie. Of course it was a unrelated Godzilla film, but still, that's crazy. But 2024 has been an amazing year for Godzilla. It's the 70th anniversary, it won an Oscar, and for this year Godzilla has now made the best opening weekend. And if you just look at the last 5 months alone, Godzilla starred in a new Japanese movie, Godzilla Minus One. He also appeared in a new American Apple Plus streaming series, Monarch Legacy of Monsters. And right now he's playing on the big screen with Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. And this is the newest American made film. And just given how tired we've gotten of seeing the same franchises, the same cinematic universes and characters over and over again, by all those metrics, we really should be fed up with Godzilla by now. But we're not. Instead, these last several months may represent the golden age of Godzilla. And in 70 years, this is the biggest winning streak for Godzilla of all time. And much of that is credited to Japan's Godzilla Minus One. And it had nothing to do with the current American-made monsterverse. But it's nice we have options. Not everyone is a fan of the more cartoony Godzilla, the one that's saving the day, fighting other monsters, and teaming up with King Kong. And Godzilla Minus One just gave us a great callback to the original 1954 film. And I thought it was amazing how they had him return to post-World War II Japan. And they also believe it was the most terrifying version of Godzilla that we've ever seen. And for me, this is the Godzilla that I like the most. And there's really no right answer, you could like the Godzilla that you like. And that's the beauty of it. But it was just great how Godzilla Minus One restored Godzilla to his original roots. And that was as a horrifying metaphor for the atomic age. And also just Japan's World War II trauma. And it was an interesting year to release this with Oppenheimer. Some people actually joked that Godzilla was the sequel to Oppenheimer, but it really found a different audience than usual. And this was namely an audience made up of Oscar voters. We've never seen that with a Godzilla movie or monster movie. And Godzilla won its first Academy Award in 70 years, and that was for Best Visual Effects. And that is such a win. And Japan just really showed what could be done without a bloated budget or just overworking or underpaying your visual effects artists. And moreover, it just showed what could still be done with Godzilla in general. And Godzilla by now has just underwent plenty of makeovers. But this really wasn't the only time Godzilla switched from hero to villain. In Japan, it's really been going back and forth for decades. But then America got its first serious hold of him, and that was in 1998. And a lot of people didn't like that film, they called it a failure. But then America tried again years later, and that was with Gareth Edwards' Godzilla in 2014. And that film really tried to inspire the awe and wonder of Godzilla once again. And I still have really fond memories of seeing that in the movies. But after that, Warner Bros. and Legendary Pictures decided to team Godzilla up with King Kong. And this created its own cinematic universe. And that was with Kong Skull Islands, Godzilla King of the Monsters, and then Godzilla vs. Kong. And now of course, Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. And this new monsterverse is definitely less about what Godzilla originally was all about. And that was of course post-war metaphors. Now it's just more about connecting the monsters in an MCU style fashion. Except instead of S.H.I.E.L.D. it's Monarch Human Agency. And it's just like how the MCU eventually gave S.H.I.E.L.D. its own series. The monsterverse did the same thing with Monarch Legacy of Monsters. And just by accident, 
it happened to premiere right as Godzilla Minus One reached American theaters. And that just built up a massive word of mouth. And that's really what made Godzilla blow up. And it was all by accident, and it made for quite an awesome Godzilla double feature. And it really gave fans the best of both worlds. And one version was a serious Godzilla that would just terrorize on the big screen. And the other was a more fun and cartoony approach, and that was with the American version, Monarch Legacy of Monsters. And they actually had it stream at home at the same time that Minus One was playing. Of course, Monarch didn't really have that much Godzilla in it. I think he appeared in only half of its episodes. But also, Godzilla Minus One didn't really have an overabundance of screen time for Godzilla either. But that's more effective. If you look at Jaws and just every great monster movie, having the monster only shown briefly is definitely more effective and it's more unforgettable. And just with how well made Godzilla Minus One also was, that definitely made the Monsterverse and American blockbusters definitely look lacking by comparison. And you'd probably just think because of how well made Minus One was that it wasn't the best for the other things to come out so close to it. But still, Godzilla X Kong is just breaking all kinds of box office records. And this proves that the people really are just hungry for Godzilla. Of course, I prefer Minus One, but I believe that sometimes you need something mindless and fun every now and then. Doesn't all have to be serious. But of course, Japan will always be king when it comes to their baby, Godzilla. And at worst, the show Monarch Legacy of Monsters became more of a footnote to Godzilla Minus One. And it was just nice having the option of getting more Godzilla, and this is when we craved him the most. And actually, just recently, that show became a notable footnote in other ways. And that's because it featured Anna Sawai, and she's the human lead before her current, even more significant breakout with the new FX show Shogun. But the Monsterverse doesn't really seem to have a five-year plan, at least it's not known publicly, so we'll have to see what happens with it. As of now, Monarch Legacy of Monsters has not been renewed yet by Apple. But that still could change. And like I said, Godzilla X Kong is just performing extremely well, so we'll be seeing a lot more Godzilla. But it's just amazing that this new golden age of Godzilla is happening the year of its 70th anniversary. It really is the year of the dragon. But if they want to make this year even better, they could start by giving us a physical release of Godzilla Minus One. And one that includes both the color version and black and white version. And Japan is getting theirs. They have a really nice set and it has both versions. And I believe it even comes with a golden Godzilla figure. But unfortunately, there's still no US release date and the Japanese version does not have English subs. So it'll be nice if we get that soon, I'll keep you updated. Anyway, it's really a debate whether or not Godzilla will become lackluster and tired like the MCU. And I believe as long as Japan gives us some more well-made films like Minus One, I think that will balance out the Hollywood fun Godzilla. The MCU's biggest problem was just continually repeating their same formula. It got old. And it also didn't help that they got rid of all their best characters and replaced them with annoying ones. But it really is an entirely different franchise. It's kind of hard to compare them. So we'll have to see what happens. But the Godzilla franchise could really go in many different directions. And if one version of Godzilla failed, they could just come up with a different version that will take its spot. And that's really how Godzilla has survived since the 50s. And that's really how he's become stronger than ever in these last few months. And that's the kind of power that other big franchises and characters likely will envy a great deal, especially right about now. Anyway, let me know in the comments what Godzilla you prefer the most. And thanks for watching.